years ago, I woke up every day, checked my phone, scored Instagram and Twitter, then realized I was late for class. What? I would show up late just to sit there and watch anime all day. You're going to love this. Learning absolutely nothing. And when I wasn't wasting my time in class, I was at work, working any job I could just to not destroy my credit score. You see, between school giving me $40,000 in debt and my full-time job paying me $600 a month, yeah, this was a cut. The money I made was just enough for rent and some food. After that, I was left with $50. Now, instead of suffering trying to save this $50 a month, I got to thinking because it wasn't always like I realized a few years back I made a lot of money on my own with no help from my parents living off rice and popcorn with not even a bed to sleep on so trust me you can do it too if you don't know I'm Fiji I started my main channel a while back and we are well on our way to 300,000 subscribers but this wasn't only till a couple months ago before that I had to make some money to even attempt my dreams of being an entertainer to do this I needed things like a laptop a camera and I'm gonna tell you none of these things are free but how I made the money to get them was and this is how I did welcome to seven ways to make money for free working worldwide like the video subscribe for you but that be said let's do this she method number one social media marketing believe it or not for two years i paid off my whole tuition by marketing on social media i ran an instagram page with a few thousand followers and a youtube channel with about the same at the time now how i got those followers may sound crazy but it was pretty simple. Allow me to explain. Every chance I got, I would walk up to a group of people, be friendly, and ask them to follow me on Instagram. By taking every chance I had to do this, I gained thousands of followers in a few months. And people like that. Sure, someone followed, but who cares? Not me. The hell's wrong with you? How dare they? <laughs> Now this was a time period where everyone wanted to be a SoundCloud rapper, but a lot of them were underground artists with a small following, so I offered to promote them. For each Instagram promotion, I charged $50. I ended up doing about 20 a month, and this left me with a thousand extra dollars in my pocket outside of work money. Now if you aren't too social, no worries, you don't gotta leave your room. There's other methods. Listen, another great one is my studying algorithm. Going to other creators or artists and offering them a service. Either you could help them grow their platform with the knowledge you can learn for free, or you could promote their content on TikTok by just making small clips from things they've already done. Every creator wants a marketer. Trust me, I even hired one of my boys just for that reason. Some people made six figure incomes off this and it costs absolutely nothing. What? You could use your phone for the research, the clips, and as long as you got an internet service, you can learn something. With that being said, method number two, lawn care. Now you would be very surprised to see how many people are too lazy to take care of their own lawn. What do you mean by that? Now in Canada where I'm from, we got a lot of snow. You may see where I'm going with it. But what I would do is grab my friend for the day asked to borrow us that shovel, and we essentially became shoveling door-to-door -door salesmen. We'd ask people if they wanted their driveway shoveled for $40, 10 driveways a day, $40 a driveway, that's $400 in a day. Even if you did $20 a driveway, that's $200. Believe me, people don't want to do it. And if it doesn't snow where you're from, you're still fine. Most of lawns. There's a lot of money to be made in the lawn care business, and all it takes is hard work. But trust me, if you make a few hundred, save up, you can buy yourself a power washer, some hedge trimmers, and you got yourself a business. With that being said, now Next method, method number three, make video. Now this is the main thing I decided to do, but to make this work, you'll have to go about this correctly. Whatever guru told you that YouTube is easy and they got the life hack, they is wrong. There is no hack, but you can make it work. Do some research, find a popular topic, look at other videos in that niche and start making videos on what you know that work. And look, if you don't want to be the center of attention, there's many reasons people wouldn't want to show their face and you don't have to. Some people are too shy. Some people don't really want to be famous. Hey, me too. But a big reason I'm faceless is to show you. It don't matter what you look like, how tall you are, where you're from, you can do this too. Look, I'm a virtual character. Come on. And I myself have three faceless channels. But if you don't even want to talk, you can make yourself a cash cow channel. And on here, you can post anything from crazy fails the new trends i'm telling you done correctly this work there's a lot of people that have made millions on youtube without even saying a word let alone showing themselves so why not be one of them i'm not anything special and if i can take the step you can too and give it a try method number four fiverr now this can be an amazing way to make money essentially fiverr is a website anyone could sign up for to promote themselves almost any talent can be monetized here let me give you some examples from things like video editing if you're good at essays or script writing if you draw you could set a price and you can make some profit i've even seen some unbelievable business ideas like leveling up someone's gaming account for a fee girls playing with someone for an hour for hella money i even saw somebody helping other youtubers or future creators just set up software he sits there hops in a webcam call tells you to download a program and he got paid come on bro and you think you can't do it the possibilities are endless and all you need to do is find something you're good at in life and if you think you aren't good at anything you're probably wrong <laughs>
but practice at something because you could sell it. I know people that even sell piano lessons online. You got it. Now, this is what I made myself. The Mayweather method. Now, some of y'all probably looking at me like, Fiji, what the hell you talking about? What do you mean by that? Essentially, to execute this method, it requires educated bet. Look, I'm gonna be honest. I made majority of my money for years like this, making bets with overconfident people who did not know who they were betting with. You see, Mayweather is an undefeated boxer, but not only was he the best in the ring, he knew exactly when to pick his battles and who to pick them with. For example, a few years back, I got pretty good at a game called Smash Bros. Everyone plays this game, correct? And everyone thinks they're really good, or at least you know someone, correct? In my time, I practiced this game every day. I started to go to tournaments to test my skills, and eventually, I found I was finally good enough to attempt the Mayweather method. Here, I realized how many people thought they were the best at this game. So instead of just playing them for free, my first match, I'd always wager $20, $30, even $100 if the person was really cocky, and I won every time. Now look, I made sure I put some thought into who I was betting and when I was doing it. But this can be done with anything you're good at. And until you get 100% belief in yourself and confirmation that you'll win, I have an alternative that don't require you losing any money. And it's called option bets. You see, option bets can lead to multiple outcomes. Keep it at two, Matt. For example, say we have a race to see who is faster on foot. Instead of just betting money, I'll bet whoever loses has to give $50. Or if you don't want to do that, loser does 500 push-up. And there's a lot of people who would rather not do 500 push-up. Give them something unreasonable you know they'd rather not do. The key is to choose your battles wisely. Using the Mayweather method, I've made literal thousands of dollars and I have no shame because this money helped pay my school tuition for years and I did it all by myself. But if you don't like that, on to the next method. Method six, flip popular items. Now this is something you probably heard of all over and it isn't as hard as you think. Now the buying and reselling market is huge, but you don't necessarily need to buy to sell. Almost anything, if presented correctly, can be sold. I used to sell old games, old chairs that belong to other people. A lot of these items I didn't even own. Often people are too lazy easy to sell things, especially when they move, so they just throw them away. You can sell anything you want. I sold free consoles, old games I don't play anymore. I mean, I spoke about Smash earlier, right? Did you know that Super Smash Bros. Melee came out in 2001, and some people are selling it right now on eBay for $800 a copy? Listen boys, you may got some valuable things laying around. Now don't go pawning your parents' jewelry, but for the things you don't need anymore, why not make some money? Last method for the day. Method 7, ask people you know for work. Now when it comes to work, dealing with random people telling you what to do when any normal job can be quite a hassle. That, which I will never relive again. Oh, I hate those days. Those were bad times. But I found some other way. Now you are in control of how much this method works. But what you can do is ask around to the people you know for work. When you do this, you have the ability to somewhat choose who you can work for. And all you have to do is ask. If anyone needs a worker, present yourself as a very capable person. If anyone needs a worker, you can probably complete the task. You could ask your uncle, parents, coaches, maybe some parents or friends if there's anything they need assistance with. And I guarantee they probably got something they can hire you for at least for a couple days obviously make sure you're safe and you know these people don't go to no stranger's house i don't promote that but me and my friends got like three jobs talking to people i see quite often just by asking if they need to work i remember one of the best jobs i had was to drive a golf cart around a power plant for three weeks removing old stickers off doors so they could replace them with new ones like what kind of job is that what but it paid $25 an hour. Because of safety reasons, I wasn't a power plant, but I only did this for like an hour in the eight hour day. I spent most of the day just playing cards because my boss told me not to finish too fast. Trust me, don't be afraid to ask. And that right there is seven ways to make money for free with feet. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. Come back and let me know if any of these work. Also, drop some of your free money making methods down below. Maybe we could do a part two with your stories instead. Until next time, more videos on the way. I love y'all. Believe in yourself and later day.